Hello everyone and welcome to the December 2011 Q&A video. If you're unfamiliar with how these work, we take the questions that you guys left in the comment section of the last month's Q&A video, which was November's, and uh, we always answer the top rated, and we pick out about 15 or so other questions and we answer them. So if you want your questions answered for January, leave your questions below. Uh, for this month and we'll answer them maybe at the end of January. If we didn't answer your question, we apologize. It's not that we hate you. Um, it's just we very much dislike you. No, it's a, there's just way too many questions submitted. We can only pick out a few, so that's, that's why. Also, if we are smaller than we normally are, it's because if you watched the vlog that goes al uh, along with today, you'll be aware that um, we have a new TV and it's really big, really big. Um, if you guys could see this, like we're really big back there. So whenever I have the picture up so we could see it and it just felt like we were too big when it was zoomed in. So I zoomed out. So if we look too small, I apologize. We'll get it fixed. This is going to take some major adjusting. Anyway, we're going to start with the top rated questions. The first question comes from um, Ocarina Said, and they ask, would you rather have a Mr. Saturn for a pet, a 3D remake of Earthbound, or a portal gun? You go first. Um. I don't want a Mr. Saturn for a pet. Me neither. They, that seems creepy as heck. They don't, they don't even have mouths, right? They might have one under their big nose. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's like their nostrils and their little, I don't know, they seem scary. Also, I saw there's a picture um, that's like the dissection of a Mr. Saturn and they're scary, so like. <laughs> You don't know how long their lifespan is. I pass on that. So, would you rather have the 3D remake of Earthbound or the Portal Gun? I think some of the charm of Earthbound is in its 2Dness. So maybe a Portal Gun. I think a Portal Gun is a pretty easy answer. Um, assuming it's like a real working Portal Gun that Get you the can. Get school like that. Well, not really. You have to see the school to put the portal in. Unless you have to, you you could leave a portal there, I guess, and drive That's home. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, and then people would be at school and they'd walk into our house. I just locked the door. That'd be creepy. <laughs> anyway, Portal Gun would probably win that. Although a 3D remake of Earthbound, I think it'd be really cool. I just like to see people take Earthbound and do different stuff with it. So that'd be neat either way. Anyway, uh, the other top rated question is from uh, Levi the Amish Man. He has two questions. First is, are you two Kirby fans? If so, what is your favorite Kirby game? I'm a I'm a pretty big Kirby fan. My favorite game is Superstar. It's fun. <laughs> I'm not like a huge fun. fan of Kirby. What's the one on DS where you draw like the rainbow line? Uh, I think it's Canvas Curse. Maybe I like that one. Yeah, that one's interesting. They do they do really cool stuff with the games every once in a while. Um, I just recently played through uh, the first Kirby game. Advent, dream adventure in dreamland or something i don't know whatever the first one is and um it reminded me that so many kirby games are the same game over and over like it's the same game the same enemies ddd &D and marks and i don't know it's very it's very very formulaic they don't change very much so i, I really get excited when they do something like kirby's epic yarn which I've never actually played, but I saw, I read a lot about it and looked at stuff. I was like, that looks cool. I'll get around to playing that some year. Um, so, I don't know. I like Superstar just because that's what I grew up playing with. Um, his co-op, it's a ton of fun. And we're actually doing an LP of that very, very soon. In fact, that LP has prize support. We will be giving away a Kirby Superstar cartridge. It's over there on the shelf. And oh, uh, there. his second question is, out of all the characters in Mario Kart, which character do you like to use the most? Either Toadette, because I really like Double Dash, or um, Paratrooper. The crap is Toadette. It's from Double Dash on the GameCube. I played Double Dash one time. Um, I I played Mario Kart 64 when I was a kid, so I'm going to go with Luigi. And anytime I play any Mario game where I get it's to Luigi. choose something, it's Luigi. Whether it's Mario Party, Mario Kart, Mario Tennis, Mario Sports Game, insert number here, I always do Luigi. I don't know. He was green, tall. I liked him. Anyway, other questions. Bear Guardian 303 asks, do you like Bob Saget from Full House? Yes. Next question. I don't know. It should be a crime not to like Bob Saget. He's an enjoyable guy. He was the best host of America's Funny Home Videos, and I really wish he would be back on. 
Anyway, PK Paratroopa asks, would you ever consider streaming sometime using something like Justin TV or having a live Q&A stream using Vocal? Also, would you ever consider making a Stephen Vlog slash Plays IRC chat room? I'd go on it. Um, yes, we actually were considering um, doing live Q&As um, and we might do streaming sometime. I think it's something I would like to do in the future. I was originally waiting on YouTube to get their act together and release um, a live format, and they did, but they hadn't released it to all the partners. But honestly, it looks like using Justin slash Twitch uh, would be the best way to go. And in fact, there's, um, there's, I, I, there's, I can do some kind of partner thing through the game station to help me out with that. I don't know. I, I've talked to them a little bit about it. So, I don't know. It'd be something I, I would definitely, I have considered, and I would consider again in the future. I probably will do. I have a Justin TV account, maybe two. Um, so yeah, something in the future. And as far as the chat room, what I'd probably do is if we had a Justin TV account, I would use the chat room that is on those things because that's practically IRC anyway. And it's a, it's a little easier for people to do. A lot of times IRC is confusing as heck for people. They do yes. not understand it. I remember when I was learning how to do it, it was crazy. So anyway. Um, Northern Spiral asks, would you ever consider doing an editing tutorial, like screen capturing yourself editing one of the vlogs? Yes, <laughs> I've been I've been asked to do this a lot um, over the course of several months, and I just never get around to it. It's it is a New Year's resolution to get one out. I, I really I'm I'm gonna do it. I promise. Um, it's just I've been busy, and I'm that's actually I'll, I'll talk about that in some of the other questions. But would I consider? It? Yes, I want to. I just haven't had time to do it yet. Uh, Modown Joe asked, do you ever tire of doing that call to action that wraps up each of your LP videos? I ask because most of my favorite LPers don't end their videos with calls to action. You seem to buck the trend of LPers I like that don't use calls to action. Um, I, 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 I don't know, I, I never used to do them and then I started to do them and once you start doing that kind of stuff and for those who aren't aware the call to action is when I end the LP and I say, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you haven't done so already, highly consider subscribing to Stephen Plays new video game episode every single day. And join us next time when me and Mal take on another cave of Minecraft. So that's the call to action. Um, it becomes very formulaic, but I think what happens is after you've done it as long as I have, it it's one of the things that people expect and people kind of know you for. If I left that out of a video now, people would start freaking out. Be like, what was that? You didn't ask us to highly consider the capacity of liking. So, I, I don't know. It, it's something that I, I don't really get tired of doing it because it's just kind of second nature. I might stop doing it. What is your opinion on that? Yeah. It's something I would consider shortening in the future somehow. I've got, I can say it so fast because it's just, you know, part of me. But I don't know. I'm, I'll keep moving on. Um, Axuncle112345 says, Stephen, would you ever think of buying and or LPing Calamari Domacy? We own Calamari Domacy. We own two copies of We Love Calamari because we each owned it before we got together. Um, we own... Do we, are there other games? There's other games. We won't have them. We're considering getting Calamari Forever uh, because we now own a PS3 and we've heard good things about it. And um, it's a game that is on my list of possibly do this game thing that's not online. So I, I actually have a separate list of games that I'm really highly considering, and that game's been on the list. It's just, um, I wanted to do an HD version, and I didn't want to have to do the PS2 version, so I might be doing Katamari Forever, I don't know, it's just I've never played it. So as soon as I get a hold of that game and try it out, uh, there's a very good chance that I will be doing Katamari Damacy. Except it'd be Katamari Forever. Yankee Boy Basin, Face on Chaos, and Dan want to know what our New Year's resolutions are. I would like to walk more and play guitar more and be able to strum because that's my hard thing to do. My, my New Year's resolution is pretty much the same thing to, to make sure that we continue to walk. It's been a little chilly. We also haven't been here. And we haven't been here, but to continue to make sure that we get exercise every day. To continue eating, right? And most of all, start playing guitar again because 
it was something I, I got to do while I was home over this two week break. I got to teach her how to play and I love it. And I haven't really picked up a guitar in about a year or so. Um, I did it here and there on the blog since it started, but really in the last two years I, I haven't picked it up much. And uh, whenever I just started playing around with it in the last few days, I mean, it's it's like I didn't forget a thing. It's like everything just came right back and it was just really natural. And um, that's my New Year's resolution is to keep playing guitar, um, start playing way more often, um, record some music because I've I've written songs in the past. I want to write some more songs. I want to do that kind of stuff. And uh, I want to share it with you guys, which I think would be really cool is to do some some music and, and be able to put it on YouTube. So that's my New Year's resolution. Make sure that I do it. Make, make sure that, that not only that we keep walking, but that we both play guitar because that's important to us. Anyway, um, so for our lyrics and 5692 Alan wanna ask, where did I get the name Xbox Jam G1? Watch Vlog Day 454. Go to, you could go to Google and type in Stephen Vlog 454. Um, that tells the entire story. Sea Dude is awesome. 92 says, when you said there was going to be a Pokemon LP, I was literally shaking in my chair out of happiness. When next year will it be coming out? We don't have any set dates, but um, the Pokemon LP is probably going to be debuting in um, right before summer. Yeah, probably probably like the middle of the year. I'm thinking May, but it's really hard to tell. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Normally, we play so far ahead with stuff that we can fill out the calendar. But it hasn't been like that for these last few LPs. Skyrim, I'm doing one episode at a time, and it's really long, so I'm not going to finish that anytime soon. Minecraft finishes up early February, and Halo is going to be done um, sometime in January. The next LP is probably going to be Magic, which is really weird because it was the latest one added. But I need to do something quick to um, <coughs> kind of have a buffer. So you're probably going to get Magic. Kirby Superstar, Time Splitters, um, and then somewhere in the middle of the year, Pokemon. Somewhere after that, it's probably going to be Donkey Kong 2. I don't know. Sonic Generations. Sonic, Sonic Gen Yeah, 2. Sonic Generations is in there. Sonic 2. Bioshock is, was originally going to be in January, but that's being pushed way back. Um, I'm still going to do it. I still, I still like the idea of doing it. But it's going to be pushed back probably into the to mid to later. So anyway, that that was way more information than you needed. Uh, Jay Kabasawa says, Stephen, how old are you? I am 22. Mal is 23. That's I like older women. Chibi Fighter asks, out of all three of the mother games, which one is your personal favorites? I mean, I grew up. I grew up with Earthbound. I got Earthbound for um, for Christmas when I was a kid. Played the snot out of that game so much as a game, like so much Earthbound. And I looked. I, I became a member of Starman early on. Um, I, I I became a member in 2002, but I was watching the site before, like several years before that. And um, really excited about Mother Three, Earthbound 64, and then Mother Three. And it came out, and I like it. It's just. When you grow up as a kid and you have so much nostalgia for a game, you're, it, there's never going to be anything to top that, ever. Um, and I, I've tried to get into Mother 1, I just can't do it. I'm going to beat it one day. I don't know when, but I'll, I'll, get, I'll get to it. What, what, what's your reasoning for liking Mother 3 so much? The story? The story. There's much more to it. Earthbound's really linear. It's like, go here, get Melody. Go here, get Melody. Go here, get Melody. Are you saying Earthbound's linear and you're going to say Mother 3's not? No, you can actually change it all up. And change the order in which you go meet uh, all the people. and You can do them in the complete opposite order that... I think should. I think Mother 3 is crazy linear. I think. You know, Earthbound, I mean, I know that the, like... The story part, the, the the game part of Earthbound, where you have to you have to do like one thing, but you can go anywhere at any time. You can just be like, I'm gonna transport here. In Mother Three, it's like, oh, you've been spending all this time leveling up this party member. Okay, well he's gone, and you'll never play as him again. And it's like, wonderful. I'm so excited for that. So I don't know. I, it's not that I think Mother Three is a bad game. Mother games are my favorites, um, but Mother Two is is got a special place in my heart. Uh, Robbo, 550,020, 
says, do you have any plans for any more channels that you want to start up? Stephen Cooks, which you mentioned a while ago in the vlog, or will you only be using your two main channels for now, or four if you count Daily Pack and Nintendo? There will be no more channels, ever, <laughs> ever. Um, I'm actually, I'm having the time of my life making content. I think it's wonderful, but I'm having a really hard time. Um, I can handle the vlog and, and the Let's Plays. Throwing Nintendo into the mix made things a little interesting, but because the episodes are short, I haven't lost my mind yet. <coughs> the problem comes in with Daily Pack. Daily Pack's actually a ton of work. Um, it's fun, and it's one of the things I really love because I feel like I get to give back to the Magic community, and I know that a lot of people that like Magic the Gathering have watched the vlogs, and they don't feel like I do a lot of, a lot of Magic stuff on the vlogs, so I really like that, but it's so much work. And, um, I mean, Joel sent in the box of Innistrad. Thanks again, Joel. And um, It's filmed. It's filmed? It's the, been filmed. It's been filmed for a while. Uh, but we still have to film the, Earth, the, the Earthbound packs. <laughs> I wish there was an Earthbound Dragon Guard game. We have to film the Pokemon packs. And, um, you know, at any time, people can send in more stuff. And it's like, there's, there's so much editing and exporting that has to be done for these daily packs. And it's... A little much. Um, that's the the only problem is I don't want to just be like daily packs canceled because I feel bad. Um, I mean I would all, no matter what I would always get the stuff that was sent in. I would get those up at some point. I mean I would not say it's canceled and the people that send in stuff can't have their videos up. I'm not going to do that. I just I wouldn't I couldn't live with myself. So that they're going to get up. It's just it's one of those things that even though I want it to be successful and I want people to submit stuff at the same time I don't because I'm actually doing too much. Um, so I, I don't know, it's, I'm gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna try to really work hard to get ahead in Steven plays because that's what makes the burden lighter on me. So in the coming months, we're gonna try and play ahead. We're gonna get like LPs done way ahead of time. Like we're gonna start recording stuff for like May and September, like next month. So we wanna get it done so Daily Pack can even exist. So will there be Steven Cooks? No, watch Steven vlog and pretend it's Steven Cooks. It's the same thing anyway. Uh, Shay Guitar 101 says, what is the Steven vlog and Steven Plays font? Railroad Gothic. Uh, the BR Master with a three says, what pointers do you have to being a, a good Let's Player? Um, well, if you're just starting out, my the best advice I can give you is to keep your LP short because when you're when you're starting to commentate, it's hard to continue to keep that train of thought because you have to keep talking. If you if you stop talking for a period of five seconds or more and you're not watching a cutscene, it becomes pretty boring. So you have to keep talking. You have to keep it interesting. So my best advice is to keep your LP short. Uh, I recommend 10 minutes as a starting, but if, if you want to go lower, go lower. I mean, there's no rules, and some people think there's rules, and those people piss me off. Uh, really, that some people have this this whole thing about there's rules, that something awful invented the the Let's Playing rules. Something awful may have been responsible, so people from something awful may have been responsible for creating the Let's Play, and they, I'm sure, will point fingers at YouTube and say that people at YouTube ruined the Let's Play, um, but there's, there's certainly no rules, and you shouldn't you shouldn't worry about trying to abide by these invisible rules. Do what you want, do what's fun. Um, and it, when you're choosing a game, especially in the beginning, choose a game that you love, choose a game that you at least know fairly well that you so you can talk about it, maybe a shorter game. Um, because if you're not having fun, you're that's gonna be expressed in your voice. I mean, people, if you're having fun, people are gonna have fun with you. So that's my that's my best tips for, for Let's playing. Otherwise, it's just completely practice and um, like keep keeping at it. I mean, when I, I went back recently and watched um, my Portal LP, my first Portal LP, and I watched some of some of Half Life and Earthbound, especially, <coughs> and it is so different. It has changed a lot. Half Life's pretty close. It's still kind of the same, but it's just my style has changed so much so keep at it because you'll develop a style and you get better i'm just kind of rambling just practice just like you would anything else like guitar i'm gonna keep moving yankee boy basin says you have said you have very long legs how fast can you run a mile what is your best mile run time ever look at this leg look at this leg um 
I've never tried running a mile. I'm pretty sure that if I ran a mile, I would die. Um, <laughs> uh, for those who aren't aware, I do have Marfan's. It's a heart condition. Um, I can't really push myself too diff too much. Uh, I used to play DDR a lot, and I got really tired and exhausted really quickly. So I don't play DDR anymore because it's dangerous. Um, I can I can run short distances really quickly because my stride is crazy. Like it's like. Wah! I mean, that's an accurate representation of how that is, but I, I've never ran a, a mile, I don't think. I used to have to run a mile every Wednesday and Monday, I think, in gym. My school was crazy with gym. It was like mile, ab workout, 15-minute um, run, ab workout, and then like strength training. That was my gym class, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Oh, it's been a long time since I've ran a mile, six years, but I wasn't ever a fast runner. I also developed asthma senior year, so I got a note from the doctor because I only had like three weeks left at gym, and he didn't want to put me in an inhaler because I had a really bad cold, and so I couldn't breathe, and that set off the asthma. And so he was like, you, you don't have to run anymore. There was one time in high school I had pneumonia. That's not related. No. Sorry, you were like, I had a cold, and I was like, I had pneumonia. <laughs> I had a Nintendo moment. Uh, the last question comes from Flaming Blue Yoshi, who says, Would you ever consider doing an LP of Donkey Kong Country Returns, or Half-Life 1, or the DLC from Portal 2? DLC from Portal 2 is on the list, actually. Um, it's not in the little thing on Steven Place, but it's on my list of, like, make sure you do this in 2012. Um, what'll probably happen is, if we need another buffer for a few episodes to, to get caught up on something else. We'll probably do it then. Um, it'll I want to do it. <laughs> it's going to be in the schedule. Um, so that's definitely happening. Uh, Half-Life 1, I get requests for this all the time. I want to do it. I really, what, I, what I've been waiting on is there's a fan project called, um, I think it's called Black Mesa. Now it's been so long since I read anything about it that I don't remember. I think it's called the Black Mesa Project. They're basically recreating Half-Life 1. Valve's cool with it. Valve's give them, given them their blessing and everything. The problem is, it's been several years, and even though they've done a ton of work, it's not out yet. So I've been kind of waiting on that, hoping that that would finish up, because I, I really want to show it is, you know, with pretty new graphics and whatever. Um, but I don't expect that to happen in 2012. So Half-Life 1 will probably happen in, a, in more than a year from now. And as far as Donkey Kong Country Returns, I loved that game. Um, arguably the best Donkey Kong Country, which is weird to say, but it's really good. Um, I would, I'd be cool with doing it. It's just right now we seem to be doing them in order. We've done one, we're going to do two. I don't know if we'll do three, because three is not my favorite. Three's pretty, pretty bad, in my opinion. It's not that I think it's, like, terrible, but it doesn't feel very much like Donkey Kong Country. Like, it feels, like, vague. It's very vaguely like the, the other Donkey Kong Countries. And I would skip 64 because 64 is just Banjo Kazooie. So, um, Donkey Kong Country returns, um, you know, maybe in the future after two, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We we have the uh, we have a Wii now. We we stole my father's Wii. It's actually my Wii because someone was concerned about that. He was like, "Why don't you buy your own Wii?" I was like, "Actually, it's mine." Um, my dad just used it all the time. Uh, that's all the questions actually. So thank you guys for, for writing questions. If you want a question answered for next month, uh, leave it down below. We will review the best questions. If we didn't answer your question this month, it's not because we hate you. Um, there was just a lot of other questions we had to get there to. There a lot of questions. So many questions. Uh, in fact, feel free to leave the same question. You can leave multiple questions. And as always, um, make sure you go through the other questions and thumbs up the ones that you definitely want answered because we will for sure answer the top rated ones. Unless there's something ridiculous. Like, you know, do llamas eat cactuses on Sunday? I don't know. That's a stupid question. Don't ask that. Someone's going to ask that. And it's going to be top rated. And I'm going to have to come up with some kind of crazy answer. That's a stupid question.